Amen. 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 You can get something better than candy. You can get something better than flowers because flowers die and the candy might make you fat. Uh, the candy <laughs> might cause you to have tooth decay. But this thing right here is going to cause you to live day by day, every day, in the right way, in the in, 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 in holiness. And, and it's going to cause you to know life and have joy like you've never known it before. It's that kind of love that I'm talking about. It's that kind of love that don't keep score. It's that kind of love in which I can... Let me, let me slow down. In 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, in the 4th through the 7th verse, it gives us this long little list of what love is. Mm -hmm. Love is patient. That's why it is. So love says, I'll wait. Mm. You ain't where I am right now, that's all right, I'll wait. I'm not going to get angry with you because you're slow, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm not going to get angry with you because you're growing, I'll wait. If you're not operating in patience, uh oh, you're not operating in what God has called you to operate in. I, if, if, this is, if this is hurting you right now, amen, don't say nothing but just simply say under your breath, Lord, help me because I needed this. Lord, See, you got to understand, now, I know we want to rush things we were in a microwave society where you can put a hot pocket in and you can eat real quick, you know. Amen. You can cook. You can put a turkey in the microwave oven if you can cook it right and probably have it done in less than forty-five minutes. I don't know how turkey. it's going to taste. I don't know how it's going to come out. But you can eat real quick nowadays. You can go to fast food restaurants. So somehow or another, we feel like you know I can have it now when I want it right now. But if God told you to wait. Will you be so programmed by society that you won't wait on the creator, the one who got a good blessing for you, not a microwave blessing? Amen. So that's going to tear your stomach up later. Amen. That's right. That's right. Mm. Amen. And the Bible says that love is kind. Yeah. How, how dare, oh my goodness, I don't know who I'm talking to, but listen, you need to hear this right here, and if it don't fit, that's all right, put it in your pocket and deal with it later. How dare you say you love God, but you mean as a rattlesnake? Come on. Right. That's not a picture of God's love. Hello. Like when people see you coming, they turn the other way. Everybody goes, like, oh God, they coming. They go, that's supposed to be Christian person coming. So they, you, you come in, but you're talking about everybody. You, you cut people low. And where's the love of God? Amen. You shall know them by the fruit they bear. Yeah. Amen. So you belong to something, but you don't belong to God. Mm. Mm. Amen. If you don't like that, see me after a while. I'll be outside waiting on you. Mm -mm, go. And love does not envy. So I get upset. Because they don't. Josh, you don't got it on the call. Chance about to get married. I'm envious. <laughs> JR, he's a manager. I'm envious. No, what I do, I celebrate. Celebrate with your brother and your sister Same way God blessed him He can bless you But you're not going to rejoice with those who rejoice They do the eyes of the world Whether they try to die with the most toys Don't you know we can all have In the house of God We can all have We all can be the head and not the tail We all can get a winner's crown Amen. So I don't have to worry about you When you get it I'll rejoice with you And God said oh if you rejoice and I'll bless you that's right. Amen. See, it's this the world that says, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm envious. So I'm working a 40 hour job, and how, why come I can't get a new car? Why do you got a new car? What will work? Save your money. Amen. Quit spending on stuff that you spend on. Use wisdom. Be wise. But love does not envy. Amen. 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 Don't envy. Look at that. Oh, she got them pretty shoes on over there. I wish I had. Stop. Don't envy. Amen. God said that if you just delight yourself with Him, He'll yeah. give you the, 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 the desires, desires of, of your heart. Amen. Amen. Love don't boast. Amen. Love, love don't boast. <laughs> Amen. Love don't boast. Amen. You know what? We we tend to stick our chest out. Look at what I got. Look at what I got. Look at what That's I got. Right. Don't boast. Let let the blessing that you have speak for itself. People can see the favor of God That's on your right. life. They, they know that God is favoring you. Let the work that God do, let God boast for you. Amen. Amen. Let God boast because there's favor on your business, favor on your job, favor, 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 favor yes. in your marriage. Let God elevate yes. you. Amen. Stop trying to exalt your own self. Yeah. Don't boast if you're going to boast. Boast in Christ. Amen. 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 How does that happen? How does that work? Thank you. Why? I thank God he gave me a wonderful wife like Carmela. Amen. It ain't nothing I did. Amen. But in him. Yes. Amen. So we don't Amen. boast like the world boasts. Amen. And love don't dishonor others. 
In other words, I don't have to throw shade on somebody else to make my light shine. Right, that's right. I don't have to bust your light bulb so my left 40 watts can be bright. That's right. <laughs> Hello? That's right. I don't have to unscrew your 100 watt light bulb so that my left 30 watts can go bling. Right, that's <laughs> right. Then, no, so I'm not going to throw shade at you or talk about you or, or belittle you behind your back or even to your face, you know, or, or whatever it is. I know that love is going to cause me to love you and honor you for who you are. I mean, I need to love and operate be, and be just like God called me. Mm-hmm. Your love ain't self-seeking. That's right. Oh, Lord. Love ain't self-seeking. We like to keep score saying, look, baby, I scratched your back last night. You know, you just scratched my back tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, yeah. Come here. I'm scratching your back. Okay. My turn. <laughs> it's all about me, 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 me. No. You know, what love says is, what can I do for you? Amen. That's Even right. if you can't That's do for right. me, That's what can I do for you? Because yes, right. there are some people out there that they need to see the love of God in you. Yes. And so I don't need for them to, when I bless them, to expect the blessing back from them. That ain't how it works. God said, whenever you bless man, it shall come back to you, pressed down, shame and get them run over. Shall men, not the same one that you bless. Right. So if I bless you because you was at a point where you were helpless and you didn't have, then it's going to come from over here. Mike going to say, mm, God told me to bless him this morning. Yeah. So God's right. going to bless me. And it may not come to who I bless because whenever they get up, they're going to bless somebody else, but it may not come back my way. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right. So I don't worry about it. When I give, I shouldn't expect. That's right. well, wait, wait, well, you remember when? <laughs> you, you, you remember when? <laughs> yeah. Come on. That's I right. hope I'm helping somebody up That's in right. here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, but eight says love ain't easily anchored. Amen. I understand that when you was in the world, you might have had a problem with this. But the Bible says you're not easy to anger. If every time I see you, you turn a green, tearing up stuff and throwing tables. And you ungodly and unseen. Because you look like the Hulk, walking like the Hulk and tearing stuff up. But, but you know what? You know, it, The Bible says be angry but sin not. Right. Hello? So that, that is a, a certain time or, or a right time or a right way to be angry. But when I'm angry and I'm belittling people and I'm cutting them down and when I'm angry, for let the words be coming out of my mouth and, and, oh, ah, and y'all better get out of this way, run. <laughs> the love of God ain't in that. It ain't in that. Amen. So that's what we need to do is work to make sure that we ain't like that. Amen. Amen. That you don't, you don't, what happened? I black out, I don't know. <laughs> if you get angry and you black out, then you, you know, you it's might be. Somebody, yeah, amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pastor C said deliverance. <laughs> we'll have deliverance right after service, amen. That's right. Amen. Love keeps no record of wrong. Keeps no record of wrong. I, I pray to God I'm not stepping on anybody's toes, but you remember what you did in 1990? It was 5 o'clock. We were sitting at the kitchen table, and you did. That's crazy. But I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember that? One? You don't remember? You don't remember? You don't remember ninety one? Well, what about ninety three? There was ninety seven in two thousand and one. No, two thousand one. It was on two occasions. It was in May and then again in September. Like, I can't live for losing. Right? Come on, who who keeps record of wrong? Even God said the moment you say, forgive "Lord, forgive me." Yeah. He throws it into the sea of forgetfulness. If God can forget, why can't you? Amen. Right, amen. That's amen. right. That's if God. God can forget and forgive, why can't you? That's right. You were created in his image. Amen. 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 Hello? I'm talking to the, I ain't talking to the unbelievers. I'm talking to the believers. Amen. amen. I'm talking to the believers. Because the Bible was written to the believers. the believers. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. Amen. 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 So if you come and you tell me the truth in love, I've heard people say that. I tell the truth. But you don't, if you don't tell the truth in love, you tell the truth with hate. Because, you know, somebody was, oh, we need to tell them. Oh, let me tell them. Let me tell them. I've been waiting to tell them. No, you're not trying to tell them in love. You're trying to tell them with, with, with malice and malicious. You're trying to tell them with malicious intent. Right. Oh, well, I can't stand them. I remember what they did to me. You know, now we're going back up, keeping the wrong record. So now I have to be over here and go tell the doctor what she did to me in fifth grade. Because in fifth grade, she pushed me down on the uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I bumped my head. And I got a bump on my head to this day. My head ain't even shaped right because she pushed me down. And who let me go tell her? No, stop it. Help me somebody. 
So let me, if we're going to talk the truth and tell the truth, we need to issue the truth in love. Amen. 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 So if somebody come and they tell me in love, they say, now, Pastor, you know it wasn't right. But what happened? Oh, you know what? You sure enough, you were right. Because even as a man of God, we have to take correction. Amen. That's right. Hello, if God, if God speaks to you, oh, tell him that wasn't right. You know what? I, I'm so glad you brought it to my front because I'm able to take correction because correction helps me to grow. Amen. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I get it right Monday through Friday or I get it right Sunday from Sunday to Sunday. Amen. I'm, I'm an imperfect vessel just like you. I'm just forgiven. So if I mess up, it's all right. You have my permission to come and tell me. Amen. amen. If I'm in my car and I'm driving, amen, and looks like I'm dealing with a little bit of road rage. Pastor, I saw you. You look like he was driving a little upset. There. Amen. I have to repent later. Amen. amen. <laughs> Love always protect. Amen. amen. You, you know, whenever you, you feel like you're outside, amen, or, or, or you feel like you're alone, you need to notice that in God you're always safe. That's right. According to Psalm 91, he said, if you would just abide under my wings, yes. I'm going to keep you safe. And he told you, you will see destruction over here on this side, and you will see destruction on that side, but it won't come near your dwelling. Amen. That's what that love we're talking about. That, that, it's, it's that kind of love. Amen. amen. Love always trusts. Because yes. you've been lied to before, say amen. Amen. You've been hurt before, say amen. amen. You've been cheated on before, say mm. Lord have <laughs> So it's hard now, amen, to trust people when people have done you wrong, amen. Because things don't do you wrong, hello. You can put your keys in your car and park it outside. That car ain't moving, but somebody would have to move that car. You can take, amen, your dog and put him in a cage. And if somebody let your dog out and he got hit, because the dog wouldn't do it by himself. Unless you got one of them latches where he can stick his paw through it. And anyway, that's another story. Oh, Amen. No. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, they, they, they can do some crazy things out of our pets. Always trusting. See, love is always trusting. So once we have that love, that love of God, the Christ on the inside of us, you know, you may not say, well, I knew the old Troy, but, but the new Troy is filled with the Holy Ghost. He's filled with that love of God. And so Troy's not going to try to be dishonest to you. Uh, Troy's going to try to operate in, in trust. So he said, I believe I can trust him because if he can't do it, he's going to let me know he can't do it. If he can't make it, he's going to let me know he can't make it because I'm dealing in this love. And love says, listen, if if I told you I'm going to do it for you, I'm going to try my best. And if I can't, I'm going to get back with you in a timely manner. Hope. The Bible says that uh, hope maketh not a shame. But if, we, if hope is ever put off, it makes the body sick. See, so the enemy don't want you to have this type of hope, but love is hope. Amen. Amen. Love Amen. is hope. Yes, you know, because I love Carmella, you know, I got this hope that you know, like, oh, we're going to live for a long time. And, and, mm -hmm. and it's exciting because I can trust. So mm -hmm. trust gives me that joy, the mm -hmm. hope oh. that, you know, as long as she lives, she's going to keep blessing me and I'm going to keep blessing her. Amen. 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 Love always perseveres. Mm -hmm. If you're a quitter, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. That's what that persevere means, no quit. Don't quit. You got stamina. You keep going. You keep pushing. You keep moving. But if you quit, amen, then somehow or another, what the, what the word is saying right here is if you quit, there ain't no love in you. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, now, let, let, me, let me go make that clear. You got to love one who ain't saved. Mm -hmm. You done gave up. Mm. But you be quick to say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But you can't pray them out they sin. You can't pray them out they mess. What? No, if you got love, you're going to pray for them until something happens. Amen. Right. You, I'm going to push. I'm going to pray for them until something happens. I'm going to pray. I'm going to believe God they're going to come out of their mess. Somebody took the time to pray for you. Amen. Somebody took the time to pray for me. Amen. I didn't just wake up one morning and say, you know what? Everything's going so wonderful. Everything's going so great. You know, I got all the money in the bank, you know. I'm just going to give my life to the Lord. That's right. God said, mm, I'm going to have to work on this brother. Mm -hmm. He's kind of stubborn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to let Troy, through his own devices, put himself in a situation he can't get out of. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking to you. I, I don't know y'all's situation now, but I'm talking about Troy. So Troy gets himself in a situation he can't get out of, and now he crying. <laughs> God help me. <laughs> 
God says, oh, I got your attention now. I'm like, yeah, you got it, Lord, you got it. <laughs> I can't get out of this, but I don't know how. <laughs> so, oh, you give me something to work with here, Troy. Glory, you give me something to work with. And so I'm on my knees and like, please, God, whatever you got to do. God said, I got you in the right place. And now I'm crying out to God and I'm trying to tell God, God, work on me. But then at the same time, you know, I'm kind of attached to the world. So, you know, I don't want to leave the world so quick. So I got to it. And I was like, Lord, save me day by day. Save me little by little. I kind of figured as much mess as I was in, you know, as, as bad as it was, and I knew I needed him, that if I told him to work on me day by day and little by little, as bad as it was, it's going to take God about a year and a half, maybe two. So I can still do what I'm doing while he's working. Uh-huh. Oh, I like that. I like now, that. Come on, y'all. I like, I'm, I'm, look, I'm just being real. That's I'm right. To That's right, Apostle. You know, I knew I needed God, but I was thinking like, well, you know, let me, let me stay over here and, and let me be like this right here. But see, even when I was straddling the fence, it was that kind of love that was compelling That's me, right. drawing me. Amen. Because, see, God let me get in the worst place I could get in and say, oh, I'm see what you did, Troy. Because I couldn't blame it on him. He wasn't in my life. He was just, goodness and mercy was following me, trying to help me. Had I listened to what goodness and mercy was saying, I probably would have got there a lot sooner. Amen. Amen. But, oh, no, take your time, Lord. Day by day. <laughs> little by little. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. And I'm getting pulled and pulled. It's gonna take a while, day by day, a little. While. But it was that kind of love. Yes. When I felt like I was in a rock in a hard place, and Mama couldn't help me. When I felt like that I was alone in a room full of people, and you know, when I felt like that everything that could go wrong had to go wrong. It was that kind of love. Amen. That kind of love. That, that kind in, of love. in 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 January. In 2000, in the middle of Walmart, up right. front by the cash register, I had my hands up like this. Amen. Walmart is not just a saving place for money. Amen. That's I right. got saved That's in right. Walmart. And That's well, right. it, you know, my hands were held high and it looked like to me. They were, you know how y'all ever seen them movies where something's going on and all of a sudden it's like all the people disappeared? Yeah. And it was nobody but me, you know, the woman of God that was ministering salvation. And then this other lady came up, you know, and she said, oh, praise the Lord. She said, I feel the presence of God. Do you mind if I get in it? So now there was two, two of them. Amen. Y'all know how God sent them two by two? Uh-huh. It's like one of them might have been praying and the other was skipping with the word. Uh-huh. And it was right there in Walmart at, at that time. You know, I, you know, it was like tag team, you know, hitting them. I was like, uh, oh. <laughs> Lord, yes, come into my life. Come into my, it was that kind of love. Amen. That kind of love when I felt like I didn't know which way to go. God said, Here am I. Here's the way. Amen. Here's the way. It was that kind of love that, that kind of pulled me out of where I was. It was that kind of love, that love that always perseveres. Love didn't give up on me. God didn't give up on me. Amen. Hello. It Amen. was 30 something years of my life, you know. And I you know how we always say, Well, I was raised up in the church. Grandma knew, I knew they prayed for me. Grandma then prophesied over me. I didn't even know what they were doing, but they prophesied over me when I was getting off a bicycle, running in the porch. Hey, that's our young preacher there. I, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they come back out on that. Come here, ma'am. You're going to be our young preacher. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Go play again. And, and every time I come in, one of them would talk about it. They'd say, hey, young preacher, pass it by. Go, young preacher. They was always speaking the word. And, and, and I kind of caught it. But I didn't catch it because right. I didn't understand it then. Right. You, know, you, just, mm, you just say, mm, 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 mm. Amen. But it was that kind of love. Yes. That kind of love that allowed me to go way out yonder. But I never got too far away. Because I always knew there was hope in Christ Jesus. Amen. It was that kind of love that allowed me to go far away as I did yes. in, 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 in the time of famine. Amen. Uh, y'all read the story about the prodigal son? His daddy loved him. His daddy loved him when he, he came to him and smelling like a hog pen. Mm-hmm. Which to him, which to them, that was an abomination. Cause right. they, you know, like the Jewish people, they don't eat pork. Right. You know, they don't mess with pigs. But he got so low to the very thing that was an abomination, he was working for somebody feeding the pigs. 
you know, look, you know, we, we say slopping the hogs, but he was, he picked up one of the old cuckaburro or the pines or whatever it was, and he was so hungry, he said, I'll eat the food for pigs. And I know some of us here, we say, oh, that's bad, but our situation may have been far worse. That's right. Because we may have been hooked on something. Doing something that we that we never thought we would do, you know, so far outside. Grandma didn't raise me like this. Where where, where does this come from, you know? Because once you get out there with sin, sin will make you pay more than you thought you ever wanted. That's right. It'll take you farther than you ever thought you wanted to go. Amen. And just when you thought you were okay out there, then then you'll be broke, and sin will drop you like a hot potato. Yes, it will. And now you fall away, and you're lonely. But it's that kind of love. It is at that moment yes. when everybody else gave up on you. Mm-hmm. God says, I still love you. Amen. 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 Yes. God says, come on home. Yes. God says, I know they gave up on you, but I never did. That's I never right. Left you. That's never right. forsake you. And you and you. But Lord, what happened? What happened, God, when I was at the club and the gunshots were going off? He said, no, that's the reason why you didn't get shot. I was there. Amen. 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 That's the reason why when, when the police should have took you to jail, on that particular time, they just wrote the, and said, go head on. But had they took you in or searched your car, you know you wouldn't be here with us today. <laughs> Amen. You ain't got to tap your neighbor. I say thank you, Lord. See, it's that kind of love. The truth be told, yeah. we know that God has shown his grace on us yeah. and gave us mercy yeah. when we should have got, we didn't get on That's account right. of his love. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, his Go love. Ahead. His love. Yeah. It's that kind of love mm-hmm. that says, when I see you in your sickness, mm-hmm. when I see you in your infirmity, mm-hmm. there was that's when it says Jesus was moved with compassion. Yes, and was. compassion is love and action. Hello, if I got compassion for you, I'm not just going home to pray for you. If I got some extra clothes and got some food, I'm going to feed you. Amen, amen. If I'm the Lord of Lords and King of Kings and you sick and you lame and you maim, I got compassion. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to speak to your situation in the supernatural and your blind eyes going to open. Your, 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 your limbs that were inactive will be active. Why? That's what happened when Jesus saw the he saw the crowds, the masses, the multitude, the ones who were sick, the ones, the ones who had been hurt for a long time. And he said he had compassion. compassion. He had that kind of love. It's just that kind of love. Amen. Amen. People look at you and you all, they already count you out. Too short. You're bald-headed. I don't like bald people. You know, whoop de doo There's somebody for everybody. You know, I don't like kinky hats. Too kinky. Whoops, there's somebody for everybody. Amen. You're too light skinned. You're too dark skinned. The love of God ain't worried about all that. That's right. Amen. 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 But if you go around and you be judging people like that, guess what? That judgment gonna come back on you. Right. So you need to have a love of God in your life. So you know what? I love everybody the way they come, just the way they come. It don't matter. Amen. 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 That's that's the love of God in action. That's why when we get to heaven, there ain't gonna be no 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 Baptists, no Presbyterian, no Methodist section. Amen. It's gonna be everybody who who's believers. But they all gonna be worshiping together. It's Amen. just that Amen. kind of love. Amen. 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 So you don't have an excuse. Like that brother who sat there for 38 years, you ain't got an excuse. God says, I love you, and my love will make a way for you. All you have to do is simply ask. So now since you know that there's no excuse, there's no excuse, come on, stand up. Amen. Amen. You're, you're without an excuse. The love of God has made a way for you because he died for you. And it was in that love that he purchased. He purchased a way for you to come out of what you in right now. Glory. Amen. Amen. I would like to say, if you feel like there's nobody in the place that I'm in right now, I, I think that I'm in the worst place possible in my life right now. I'm speaking to you. If you feel like I'm in a dark room and I can't find the light switch and I'm not even sure they're the doors, I'm tossed a moment and I need somebody to help me out. I can't get out of where I'm Today. If you feel like it looks like to me, you know, that, that, that I could be a lighted field, amen, and, and the birds could be singing, but for some reason, I can't enjoy the birds singing. I can't enjoy the beautiful flowers in the field because on the inside, in my heart, 
I'm just, I feel like I'm at wit's end. I, I've almost given up. I'm, I'm on a banana peel with one foot on the banana peel and the other on a slippery rock. There's a canvas, a canyon below. And if somebody says, oops, I might just slip off and fall because of the vibration. I'm talking to you. I want you to come now. If you feel like, you know, for whatever reason, I, I, I need this encounter with Jesus. I need that love that's going to pull me out. Amen. So check with your neighbor and say, if that's you, I'll walk with you. Amen. Come on, talk to him. Tell him, say, look, if you feel like you need to be there, I'll, I'll walk with you. Talk with your neighbor. Talk with you. Tell him, tell him. Come on, because God said, I, I got it. I got it for you this morning. I got it for you this morning. I got it for you this morning. I want to bring your joy back. I want to bring your joy back. Hallelujah. The song says joy cometh in the morning. But it's, it's through this love and kind. I want to restore you back to your state and be that you used to have. I want to give you everything, everything that you desire in me. Glory. Come on right now. Amen. There ain't no shame. There ain't no shame in it. I'm coming to get everything that 